Isn't nighttime just great? It's so quiet. There aren't any people around. It's breezy. It's a great time to read or to work or just to relax and find calm. And that's the topic I'll address today, finding calm. Now, you may not know this about me, but I'm a slightly intense person. I tend to work a lot and I can get somewhat exasperated when things don't go my way uh, or I'm behind on schedule. And so one of the things that I really worked on since graduating undergrad now three years ago is getting better about relaxation and in particular being able to maintain my cool and my balance as you know I face to various hardships and anxieties of life. And so I want to share with you what I think are useful techniques for that or rather at least one technique. And that technique is mindfulness. So, mindfulness, right? Mindfulness is this idea of being mindful of what's going on in your life. Just not being an autopilot. Managing to notice what is going on in your head or what you're doing. It might sound strange. I mean, of course, we are always aware of where we are, what we are doing, what we are thinking, and so on. But the idea is more that we often don't question or reflect on those things. So we've all had the experience of thinking things, believing things that exasperate us, make us angry, make us anxious. And the core idea of mindfulness is that instead of just thinking such thoughts, instead of doing things that worsen your anxiety or other things in your life, you can take a pause and reflect on what it is you're thinking, what it is you're doing, and are those things good, you know? Or just realize that, you know, this is what I'm doing, this is what's happening. So mindfulness is just being aware of what you're thinking and doing, right? So what's the big deal? Well, the thing is, as you practice mindfulness and as you become conscious and aware of the thinking and the actions that you're doing, you also are better about just stopping, just saying, okay, I'm thinking these things that are making me feel bad, let me just stop and move on to other thoughts, right? Doesn't that sound good? Just if I'm thinking something that is making me angry and is probably not even true, I can just move on? Yeah, I mean, that sounds great. So how do you do that? I mean, obviously, if all of us could do it, uh, we would do it instinctively, but somehow we have this flaw where we often do things that actually worsen our situation, and we may even know that it is making us angry or anxious, but we can't stop, right? And that's where mental exercise come in, or more commonly known as meditation, right? There's a thing called mindfulness meditation, which allows you to get better at mindfulness. Uh, and I really think it's apt to call it mental exercise because just as you go to a gym to become stronger and fitter and improve your physique, meditation allows you to exercise your mind, exercise your ability to reflect on your emotions, to improve your mental state, and so on. It makes you better fit and healthier, just as physical exercise does, but for your mind. Okay, so you can improve uh, your mindfulness by doing meditation, right? Well, that does sound like a bit of a drag, but luckily doing meditation is very easy. There's nothing fancy or mystical or weird about it. Really, it's just paying attention to your breath. It's 
sitting down comfortably, closing your eyes, and focusing on your breath, just like this. That's it. It's so easy. And you don't need to do it for hours. You can just do it for five, 10 minutes starting out. I still do 15 to 20 minutes as my daily routine. And the benefits will start showing quickly. So that's my spiel. But I don't want to just give you this very uh, shallow introduction without suggesting how you can proceed in learning about mindfulness and meditation. And for that, I have this. This is uh, a book, Calm, by Michael Acton Smith. And it is kind of a companion piece to the app, Calm. And I think the app, Calm, is one of these meditation apps which have gotten pretty popular. And uh, I think that it has a very nice explanation of the benefits and practice of meditation and mindfulness. And it's a great way to start if you haven't done it before. Now, this book, which they sell, uh, also explains the ideas behind mindfulness and meditation and has a lot more about various ways to relax, such as going out into nature, um, reading, uh, traveling, etc. It's actually a very nice, uh, pleasant book. Uh, not very deep, but uh, covers a lot of ground. And it's... Um, Something I would consider buying if you are lacking calm. But let's stay focused on this thing of meditation and mindfulness. And let me just read you the first couple pages that uh, cover all that stuff. Looking for a common life. We all want the kind of mindset that allows us to be calm while driving to work in bumper to bumper traffic. Overcome that allows us to act responsibly rather than reactively when family or colleagues want to argue. Overcome that helps us to stop ruminating about the past or worrying about the future so we can sleep well at night. Wouldn't it be nice if such a state of mind were always within our grasp? The truth is, attaining this state in our daily lives especially in the midst of chaos, is one of our greatest challenges. Why? For many of us, the stress and anxiety we experience seems to be greater than ever before. Our days are spent racing the clock. We rarely pull away from our digital devices and end up feeling overwhelmed and overstimulated. We are so focused on the next thing that we regularly miss what's happening in front of us. We fall into bed exhausted, waiting for weekends to come around, and when they do, we spend them worrying about what we didn't achieve or thinking about what's next on our plate. Our bodies are awash with cortisol, the stress hormone that can cause us multiple problems from muscle tensions to exhaustion. It's now estimated that 70% of visits to doctors are due to stress-related issues. The natural question is, what's the solution? The answer is calm. The foundation of a calm attitude is mindfulness, a practice that offers us the ability to wake up and become present in our everyday lives. It helps us to develop the wisdom to pull ourselves out of autopilot and teaches us how to respond rather than habitually react to people and external events. It gets us to notice what's actually going on within our minds and bodies. Mindfulness training isn't about zoning out or withdrawing from the world. You don't need to retreat to an ashram in the Himalayas or become a Zen Buddhist in order to tap into it. It's about deepening awareness in your everyday life so that calm, clear thinking replaces habitual reactive patterns. It's an amazing practice that can transform your perspective on life. Sounds nice, doesn't it? And I think 
the reason I'm reading this book to you is I, the description here is very succinct, but very accurate. And I'm speaking from experience as someone who has researched this topic quite a bit, got into meditation, and has gotten its benefits. Mindfulness is about focusing your awareness on the present moment while calmly acknowledging and accepting your feelings, thoughts, and bodily sensations. Much like exercise or learning a foreign language, mindfulness takes practice. It takes practice. It's a skill that becomes a way of life and, as a significant body of scientific research now shows, has real benefits. The calm movement is gathering pace in the Western world. Mindfulness is increasingly being recommended by doctors and psychologists, sometimes in places of traditional drug treatments, and so on and so on. There's science, more and more people are doing it. It's good, you should consider it. So that's mindfulness. Now let's talk about meditation, right? How do you meditate? And it may seem hard or fancy, but it really isn't, as everybody said. And let's read from his book a very nice, succinct explanation of how to go about it. How to meditate. When starting a meditation practice, select a regular time and place. Mornings are ideal as the mind is clear and it sets the tone for the day. I like to do it in the afternoon around 1, 2 p.m. when I'm starting to really lose my focus and go to the Twitter and the Facebook as a way of refocusing and re-energizing. The best way to start is with 10-minute sessions. That's how I started. Little and often is better than long sessions that are infrequent. Find a quiet place to sit where you won't be disturbed. Sit with a straight back in a position that feels comfortable and close your eyes. Let your body rest easily and breathe gently. Become aware of your breath as it flows into your body and as it leaves your body. Focus on the rising of your belly on the in-breath and the fall on the out-breath. Keep the rhythm of your breathing natural. Don't try to change it in any way, just be aware of it. Notice the very beginning of the inhalation and where it connects to the exhalation. So really just pay attention. Feel the sensation of breath, of the air flowing in, of the belly rising, of it going out. It's that simple. When thoughts arise, note them, and then let them dissolve. Keep returning your focus to the breath. So that's the key. Actually, once you start doing this, you'll notice that very quickly, probably within a minute, you'll stop focusing on the breath. You'll start thinking about your life, about your work, your day. And the key is to realize, oh, I stopped paying attention to the breath. Let me end this current train of thought that I'm on and return to what I was trying to focus on. Once your mind relaxes, you can expand your awareness to your whole body, noting whatever sensations you feel. Don't judge the sensations, just note what's happening. Don't try to change what's happening, simply observe things as they are. So one thing is, as you notice that you lost focus, which will happen a lot, don't worry, right? Don't get frustrated that you're failing, because you're not. The whole thing is to allow yourself to just sit there and try to focus on the breath. And as you notice your focus drifting away, just drift back gently and without any sort of like desperation that you're doing badly or well. You'll find from time to time that your mind will wander off into worries, distractions, or thoughts of the past or future. This is the nature of the mind. When you notice your attention has wandered, without judging yourself, bring it gently back to the breath. You may have to do this many times, and that's fine. Just continue to bring your mind back to the breath, breathing in and out, 
from moment to moment. So that's it. Sit there, eyes closed, in a comfortable spot, and pay attention to the breath. Starting out, your mind will wander a lot, right? You will notice yourself losing focus on the breath constantly dozens of times in a period of 10 minutes and this period of 10 minutes will seem like forever because you're just sitting there focusing on the breath not doing anything but it is exercise it is practice it is a skill and as you do it more ideally daily you will find that you're getting better at it and that you're becoming more mindful and hopefully more calm in your everyday life now, like exercise, like physical exercise, it's okay to wander, to stop from time to time, to miss days. You don't have to be some sort of monk, right? Think of it like exercise, like something that you should strive to do consistently as a way of improving your health, as a way of becoming calmer. And if you miss a day or miss a couple of days, it's fine. You're not trying to find enlightenment. You're trying to deepen a skill and to deepen your health. It may not work for you. I don't know. It's worked for me. It is scientifically shown to have many benefits. But maybe your mind or your character just has better ways of finding calm than meditation and mindfulness. Sure. But it's worth trying, just in case. So I hope you do try. I do recommend uh, getting this Calm app, maybe getting this book. And I hope that if you do try it, that you will find meditation to help you as it helps help me, that you can become calmer as we all probably need to do. And that you find a way towards living a healthier and more pleasant life.